today's topic of discussion is brine shrimp lethality assay brine shrimp is also called as sea monkey or fairy shrimp its biological source is artemia salina the maximum length of brine shrimp is 1.5 cm it has 11 pair of leaf like legs they are generally they are feed on green algae so the dry uh, eggs are called cysts which are in dormant condition but when the proper environment is provided it hatches and the uh, it reaches to the nauplier stage and the juvenile stage and the adults. So Michael in 1956 introduced first the use of brine shrimp and then later in 1982 mares use it uh, uh, effectively for uh, cytotoxicity activity determination. So the first step uh, before carrying out the lethality assay, we have to hatch the uh, cyst or the dry egg. For that, we need a glass jar or a plastic jar. Uh, from the bottom, we have to provide the aeration uh, in a such a way that there will be three ppm dissolved oxygen will be there in the water. Uh, for this, we need uh, the artificial sea water. Uh, so for to, to make this artificial sea water, we'll be taking three liter three liter water and in that we'll be adding 27 gram table salt uh, and at the top of this jar uh, we'll, we'll switch on light uh, the light will be of 60 or 100 watt the temperature of the system should be 26 to 28 degrees celsius uh, which is very uh, effective for the uh, hatching and once the assembly is set we will add uh, brine shrimp eggs in it and we'll keep it for 24 hours. Uh, so the eggs will hatch and the uh, nopli will come out, of, out from the eggs. The eggs, empty eggs will be floating on the top uh, because of its light weight and the nopli will be at the bottom. We will collect nopli and for determining the lethality assay, we, should, we want uh, different uh, concentration of drug uh, then we want uh, artificial seawater and nopli. So uh, we will take test tubes and every test tube will be adding 10 nopli. We will add 4 ml of artificial seawater and the drug. So different concentration will be adding in the different test tube. We'll keep it for 24 hours and after 24 hours we will see, uh, we'll count the dead and the uh, living nopli. So uh, dead nopli into 100 divided by total nopli will give us the percent mortality. So a very simple test. Uh, we have to take some precautions. Uh, we have to use seawater and if seawater is not available, then we have to, we have to prepare artificial seawater. Uh, artificial seawater should be prepared with distilled water. We should avoid tap water because it contains chlorine and which is harmful for the nopli or the uh, brine stream. The pH should be 8 to 8.5. If the pH is lower than 8, then it, it, it will be lethal to the organism. Uh, then we have to adjust the pH with the help of sodium hydroxide or sodium carbonate. Disadvantage of this is uh, this uh, lethality assay. Uh, many subs as we are using the seawater, many substances are not soluble in seawater. Uh, this species, the, at what stage we are using, uh, what what is the age of nopli, which uh, which also affects the uh, result. Uh, immediately after the hatching, if we are using, we'll be getting the different result. And if we go for the juvenile or the adult stage, the results will be different. But this is one of the simple method for determining the cytotoxic activity of the drug. Thank you.